Hey guys, welcome to Red's Project. As you can see, XG's back on the dyno. Tonight's dyno session is going to be seeing how much power I've lost from putting the stock heads back on, as opposed to the CNC ported heads I had on previously, that I had issues with. Um, unfortunately, no nitrous tonight, just NA. I've got a lot more data NA than I do with nitrous. It's a bit more consistent. And I can kind of guess if I lose so much power NA, then I'm going to lose so much power on spray. So. Just a few NA runs, make sure AFR is good, play for timing a little bit, see if we can squeeze any more out of it. Um, I'm pretty much just gonna bring up the most power it made last time NA with, with the diff gears that are in it now and compare that to what I make tonight and just see what the difference is. Um, obviously it's completely different temperature, humidity, everything than two months ago when I dynoed it. The dyno will adjust, but I'm sure it will make a difference one way or another. But Anyway, that's all we're here to do. Just run it up a few times. Um, AFR, timing, make some power and try not to stay up too late. for the night. I want to go home in a normal hour. Every time this is on the dyno I'm always here till the early hours in the morning. The outcome looks to be about 10 kilowatt difference. Um, the comparison run I used was from the last dyno session. Before I sprayed it I did three NA runs. This is the third NA run and I made 253 kilowatt and then tonight the best I've been able to do is 243 kilowatt 
out of it. Um, what's more interesting than the peak numbers is the way the curve has changed. So I'll show you the graph again. If you notice, the um, stock heads made more power and torque below five and a half, six thousand. The ported heads made more power above five and a half, six thousand ish. So that's kind of interesting. Um, that shows the heads were actually doing something. They're making more peak power and change the shape of the curve completely. Um, if it was just like a temperature thing or you know a atmospheric pressure thing, the whole curve would be up and down. But the fact that it's tilted that that shows the difference. So um, it was kind of I guess 10, 15 kilowatt loss. Um, it didn't really pick up a great deal when I did the cam and the heads, so I wasn't expecting much difference, but um, it is a number after all that. Um, other than that, car seemed to go alright. Um, everything's going good. I did play with like the idle and the cruise type thing to try and get it, um, have a little bit better manners. Um, other than that, it, it's pretty good. I don't think I need to spray it on the dyno again. I think I've got enough data and I'll just be wasting nitrous. Um, next step is to modify the suspension a little bit, make it a bit more drag orientated, and uh, after that, take it to the drags, start racing it. So, shouldn't have to go back on the dyno for a long time, at least until I change something major. So, that's about it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.